Hey, Sebastian, welcome. Mr. Mayor. Glad to have you here today. Good to be there. So I want to welcome you to uh, the Mayor's Lounge, which we hold here at the Hideaway. This is uh, my opportunity to uh, have a conversation with someone special in our community. And it also gives us an opportunity to uh, feature uh, some of our local musicians who we have some incredible musicians that are here in St. Petersburg. And, and obviously I am thrilled to have you here with us today. Uh, you know, I, I think our, our community knows that, uh, that you're obviously an IndyCar driver. You've driven at a lot of different levels from karting to champ to formula to Le Mans. But uh, tell us something that uh, people here in St. Pete might not know about Sebastian Bourdain. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> some people know a lot, some people know nothing. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been uh, part of the community since uh, late 2004, 2005. I've uh, been in the Bay since 2003. It's a place I call home now, so i uh, really, uh, really happy uh, to be there. We, uh, my, my wife and I, Claire uh, and I, were uh, we're there initially on our own. Now we have two kids, uh, nice. you know, eight, eight and 12. I get that question a lot. Like, you know, if you had the choice, where would you live? And um, honestly, I, I struggle to say something else than St. Pete because I, I really think the quality of life is exceptional. Oh, fantastic. That's a, that's a great answer. <laughs> We are fortunate every year, at least for the last several years, we've gotten to kick off IndyCar season. Anything new this year that uh, that we might be seeing that's different from in years past? No, I think uh, the level of competition is going to be, you know, keep on ramping up. And we have a, we have a new title sponsor with NTT. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but as far as the cars are concerned, we made a big, as a series, a big switch from the aero kits that we had before to the new aero kits that we had last year. It really produced great racing on the street and road courses, so it's going to be more of the same and uh, some more great battles. In St. Pete, we are really all about embracing this race. What are you hear from the other drivers, from the other teams that come here? What do they think about St. Petersburg and what's their experience has been like? I think everybody sees how much St. Petersburg is growing and changing. First of all, St. Petersburg is, is becoming the fixture in, in the series. It's been going on for a long time now. And now the perception is just great. Everybody's just super excited first to restart the season, but to come here. And when you see how great the area looks on TV, yes. you know, it's such a, a great showcase and display of what St. Petersburg and the Bay really is. I get the sense, and I don't know if it's true or not, that the drivers, the city's embrace of you guys. I don't know if you get that at every other other city. Well, for me, I'm biased, obviously, because I get the support sure. from the community and everything. And, and uh, uh, we run the charity card for kids uh, that benefits all children's hospital on the Wednesday. Uh, there's an auction, there's a go-kart race program. So I really enjoy that, to be able to give back, you know, in, in some respect, uh, the people from St. Petersburg and the area in general, I've really embraced the event and, and feel the, the competitors and the teams and the series really feels like they, they belong here. Elio has won the St. Pete race three times. You are one win away from tying that record. Is there a chance for that third? And do you think you have an advantage because you live here in St. Pete over everybody else? It's or? funny. I mean, I, honestly, I've had the worst luck here <laughs> for the longest time. And then things turn around in, in big ways. All you can do in racing is give your very best. And uh, that's what we plan on doing. And hopefully it gets us to the Werner Circle. So I'm going to ask you a final question. Uh, that is one that uh, sometimes when I get asked, I feel like I'm getting in trouble with my answer. But what is your favorite? thing to do here in St. Petersburg? Uh, I'd say it's probably just hop on the boat with the kids and, and just uh, stay uh, you know, on the beach. Uh, it's just a great thing because you can, you can stop and have lunch or something uh, you know, downtown with the, the little boat slips that you can, mm -hmm. you can pay there. You know, and that's, that's what makes St. Petersburg so great to, uh, such a great place to live in. Well, we're uh, I'm very grateful for you making time to be on the show today. Um, certainly wish you the best in this upcoming season. And now we get a, we get an opportunity here from a great local uh, musician, uh, Mountain Holler, who's going to play a little music for us and then show us why St. Pete's such a great place uh, for live music.
Don't.